Well, if in your survival tin you've got plastic bags, these ones have got handles on them, you can collect water as well as scooping it out of a river or whatever, you could do the evaporation method. I'll show you two different ways to do it depending on where you are and kind of where your trees are. I've set two up but one uh, most of the morning it's been in the shade and the other one I've done it in a bag hanging off of summer so I can keep moving it around and putting it in the sun and I noticed the one in the sun worked a lot quicker or started to work a lot quicker than the one She's just on the tree. So the one method is find your branch, <coughs> find your branch on your tree. Preferably it's better in the sun, it seems to work quicker. And pick a tree what isn't poisonous. And then put your bag over it and tie it up. Shake off any bits off it. That bit of stick is just pulling it down so it's more likely to pull up down the bottom there. Now another method is actually getting foliage from a tree that isn't poisonous, putting them in the bag. I probably want a fair bit more than that, but I don't want to keep pulling. I don't want to keep pulling branches off trees for no reason. And I will go over to one I've done earlier on, and we'll have a look at it. Both of these, <coughs> both of these have been sat up for about three hours. You can see it's kind of getting condensation in it but there's no actual water in this one yet but you can see water droplets here on the inside now this one has been here the same amount of time but I put it on this stick so I can keep moving it around and as you can see it's got a lot more condensation in there and then maybe even you can see it dripping on the bottom a lot more in there see, there's a little pool of water in the bottom there and that one's working 
But the good thing with this one is I can keep moving this and putting it in the sun. Whereas on that tree, that can only get the sun when the sun's there. There's a little bit of water down there and this has only been here three hours. Probably could have set this up a little bit better. But that, if we left it a bit longer, it's much better than nothing. And to be honest, that's one of the reasons why I would much rather carry a water bag than condoms any day. I think you can do a lot more with them than what you can you know, with a condom. Especially if you've got handled bags like that. Much easier to scoop water and tie a fork to stick onto that and swoop water up. You probably tie it open collect water and doing the evaporation or perspiration whatever much easier like this not like squeeze condom over some it would be hard right that's water with your bags cheers for watching and I'll see you later